everybody, I'm Emily and this is Emmy Lou Arts and today I'm coming at you with what I hope is going to be a quick video to show you how you can get small, really high quality, super inexpensive pictures to use for journaling projects, craft projects, or scrapbooking. Because sometimes you don't have room for a whole 4x6 picture unless you don't want to write anything in your journal. So if that sounds interesting to you or helpful, then please keep watching. Okay, if you are new here, my name is Emily and I love to journal. <laughs> this is my journal. I use an A5 Hobonichi Cousin Avec. But as you know, people can journal and scrapbook and do things in all different sizes of notebooks. So if you have a tiny little journal and you just like to capture a few moments throughout the day, um, sometimes you'd like to include a picture and it's too big. There's not a small enough picture made <laughs> that you could include. And things like the HP Sprocket um, are expensive and the pictures that it prints are two by three, which is a good size, um, but the photo paper is pricey and the quality, mm, if you spend the time to edit them, it can be pretty good, but it's not gonna be the quality that you can get printed from you know, a drugstore or Walgreens or a CVS if you're in the United States. So I'm gonna show you a little tip where you can get teeny tiny pictures so cheap you guys i love this hack so i downloaded these apps on my ipad and i also have them on my phone so i use them on both um but i thought since i film with my phone i could show you on my ipad i downloaded the pick stitch app which is free now don't let it fool you you don't have to pay in the beginning so it will come up and say hey do you want to subscribe and you say no thanks and then you still get all of these templates for free, you guys, for free. You only need these ones with the crown are the ones that you would have to pay for with a subscription. If you can't get what you need in this, then I don't know what to tell you. Basically, what I like is just smaller, smaller pictures. <laughs> smaller, smaller. <laughs> tiny little pictures um, that you can actually still see the details and still see what's going on and they're pretty clear so um, you can have so much fun there's so many different options but first I will show you if you wanted to print photos that were the same size as you would get with the HP sprocket which is two by three what you would do is select the Four picture option. This is by far the one that I use the most, I think, um, because it gives you a pretty good size photo um, where you can still see the details, but um, it's smaller. So um, I did not edit any of these photos, so they're not the highest quality. I mean, I'm not a photographer, um, so I'm sure you could, you know, do a lot more with it. Um, but the first thing that you want to do, which is important, is if you want this two by three size, you need to change your aspect here to either a four by six like this or a six by four like this, because that is a size that will print at the drugstore. So if the pictures that you're trying to select are more kind of landscapey, I would choose this option. If they're more um, portrait, then I would choose this. I'm just gonna go with this option. So you wanna choose that. And then you can go to your photos and I'm just going to drag some random photos. And this actually lets you edit the photos in here. You can put on filters and rotate and blur and do all that stuff. Um, but I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to say done and it will pop up in there. And then you can drag it to um, make it fill your little frame. I took a selfie of myself because um, my friend started making jewelry and I purchased a little ring and earrings from her and I wanted to show her how much I loved them. So I generally don't take selfies of myself like that. So there's uh, there's one picture. Um, I'm just selecting randomly here. Oh, here's this really weird picture of my cat. Ooh, I'm, I'm used to tapping because that's what you do on the phone, but on the iPad you drag 
This is my parents' freaking weird cat. I just thought it was a hilarious picture. Cross-eyed weirdo. So I'll choose that one. Um, I'll choose a picture of a weasel. Look at me tapping like I don't know what's going on. Um, oops. I just want a picture of a white weasel. <laughs> that was a screenshot. And then I'll do this, gosh, this picture of my son doing a flip that I told him not to do on the trampoline. So zoom in, center it like you want. And you can even go back in and double tap if you want to go back and edit. But I don't. I just want these four pictures like this. And what I mean about the aspect is if I were to choose the other six by four option, it just doesn't match these pictures quite right. You know what I mean? But if you had more landscapey pictures, then it would be perfect. But I think this works perfectly for what I want here. All right, I gotta recenter them now. And then when you've got things the way that you like them, um, you just click export. And when you don't pay, sometimes it makes you watch a little ad, but um, creating collage, get the latest layouts, skip, and you just wanna save it to your camera roll. And then when you're done, go out. And if you're in the United States, you can go to Walgreens or CVS, something like that. And you can go to photo, prints, choose to upload from my device. And then I can go and I can choose this collage that I just made in pick stitch. And four by six prints are 35 cents a piece, but there's typically always some sort of photo coupon off of like 10 cent prints or 50% off everything in photo. So make sure you look for a coupon code um, and make sure you have one of those um, so that you can get them as cheap as possible. Um, and then what you want to do when you've got this uploaded is make sure that you change your size to five, four by six. I mean, it's, it obviously is here already, but you can go to crop and make sure that it is laid out the way you want it to. Um, but here, like you wouldn't want it, you just want the size to match up with what you picked on um, pick stitch for the aspect ratio, because then it will print out just like this, like four two by three photos which is so fun, you guys. And then you can cut them apart. And obviously they're not sticky backed like um, a sprocket would be, but that doesn't matter. Like you can just glue them in. Um, and then you just, um, you know, download them, upload them to your store and get them zipped off and printed. And in the States, Walgreens will print your picture in like, I don't know, for me, it's done in like 10 minutes. <laughs> so, um, so if you didn't have any coupons and you did the four option for a 35 cent print, you get four for 35 cents and they're higher quality than usually one of the printers, little smaller printers, um, and they're smaller for your journal. Now that's the basics, but you can have a lot of fun and you can make even smaller pictures. I have friends that like to journal in the Hobonichi Weeks, which is ooh, teeny tiny. So look at this, you guys, a three by three. I wanna start a new collage. And for the aspect on this, you can get square photos printed at Walgreens. All you have to do is select four by four. That's the square photo that they do. So here for the aspect, all you want to choose is one by one because it's the same ratio. You just want it to stay a square. So let's go and upload. Um, let's upload a bunch of pictures from our dance night. Um, I don't even know if these will um, fit like very good in this aspect. Oops. And you can like drag them into different sections of your picture. We had a little dance night <laughs> um, because daddy daughter dance got canceled. So these are all pictures of us dancing. <laughs> Let's 
let's capture my son there. Crazy. Um, what else? Sorry, this is going to take a long time. Oh, I keep wanting to tap. Let's get a picture of Addy twirling. I just wanted to show you what was possible that you could do so many little teeny tiny pictures. There's this family one. One more. There's them doing the YMCA. Let's capture that one as well. Launch fo photo editor as you add photos. You can say yes or no, so you don't. it doesn't keep doing it if you don't want it to. So there's them doing the YMCA. And remember, you can drag in and out to um, center the picture the way you want it. So there we've got six photos. We've got our aspect changed to one by one, which is a square. And we're going to export. Oh, this is when it's going to make me watch an ad. So if you don't want to watch ads and you want to be able to do a bunch of other fancy things, then you can pay, but you don't have to. So why would you? <laughs> oh dear. These things I don't know how to get out of. Okay. Save. And then it's saved to my camera roll. Go back to Walgreens. Prints upload from my device and I selected the six photo collage that I just made and then here they changed it for me into the four by four square but just remember to always change your size into the ratio that you want it to be. So a four by four is slightly more expensive than a four by six. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. Um, but when you select the one by one in pick stitch since it's the same ratio, it looks, it's the same. So um, it's 39 cents for the six by six. So you're getting six tiny pictures for 39 cents. And I did the same thing here with the four picture option instead of six. So with the four picture option, you get prints that are two inches by two inches. Duh, basic math, Emily. <laughs> but this is the four by four square. So if you did six, you'd have six pictures in here and they would be super, super cute. Oh my gosh, they'd be teeny tiny. So like just over an inch, probably a piece, like just slightly over an inch by an inch, maybe. So you'd have six teeny tiny pictures um, of good quality that you could put in your journal, like a Hobonichi Weeks, or if you just had like a ton of pictures from something, an event that you wanted to capture, like a birthday party, or, you know, a day that you went sledding. Sometimes you just need a lot of pictures to capture that event. So um, this is an easy way to get high quality ones um, and not waste expensive sprocket paper. So if you're doing 39 cents, and you're getting six pictures for 39 cents, that's if you don't use a coupon. How much is that per little tiny picture? I don't even know, six cents, it's cheap. I wanted to make sure that I mentioned that one of the reasons that things like this are so popular is because of the convenience. So you don't wanna to wait to print out a whole bunch of pictures at one time because then you'll be totally behind in your journal or whatever project you're working on. And there is a way around that. So. Sometimes people carry around the um, this little template um, sprocket page so that when they're journaling, if they know that at a later time they're going to print out a sprocket photo, but they're not going to do it right now, they can just tuck it in their journal and they have this and then they can just put it on their page, draw a little pencil line around it and do the rest of their journaling and they're going to know and there's going to be the perfect space for this picture of the picture that they print out eventually when they get around to it. So you can do the exact same thing with these types of photos. You can carry around a little template. Um, if you realize that six by six, those little tiny ones are your favorite size, just make a little, um, a little laminated card that is the size of that picture and have it tucked in your journal. And then if you know that you're gonna print a picture for something that's going along with whatever you're journaling about that day, but you just wanna print them once every week or once every two weeks, um, 
then that's totally fine. Just leave a space for it and draw your little outline. And then you can get all of your little teeny tiny prints done at one time and then come back every week, once a week or two weeks and clip apart your photos and glue them into the little template little space that you made the perfect space that you left in your journal so it doesn't have to be super annoying it can be something that you do I mean as little as every couple of weeks or once a month depends on how much you use pictures but um, it's not like you need to run to the drugstore to pick up photos um, every single day but so that is one tip to make this a lot more handy um, as far as you know not having them on hand right away. Just make yourself a little template and off, off you go. Um, the more that you play with it, the more possibilities you'll see with the different layouts. So you could do so many. Just remember to change your um, aspect ratio to match up kind of with what you want. So that is my tutorial. I hope it was a little bit helpful and not too confusing. If you guys have any questions, uh, just let me know and I will try my best to help you. But I just picked these up at Walgreens. I uploaded four random photos and just showed you the different ways that you could um, change the aspect. So four by six or six by four or the square, four by four. So there you go, guys. I hope this was helpful and I hope that you have a great weekend. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.